Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you on how to create animated gradient background change using HTML and CSS. Now, let's get started. Let's take a look on our project file structure. Here, I've already created main project folder called my project. Under the my project folder, I've created blank HTML file called index.html and a single blank CSS file called style.css. Now, let's moving on to the HTML file. In the head section, I've set the title name as tutorial. Also, I've already included the blank CSS file. Now, let's add the font style by using Google Fonts website. For this tutorial I choose Roboto style. Copy the font's URL. Now back to the HTML file and paste the URL. Let's moving on to the body section. We will not gonna put too much stuff in here. I will only create a single diff as the background color container. Also, I put some text sample right under the background diff. Alright, don't forget to save the file. As we can see, the sample text is already visible in the live preview on the right side. Now, let's get ready to jump into the CSS file. As usual, I set the margin and padding to 0 in the body section. Here in the background container, I set the height and the width of the page to 100%, so it will fit to all page resolution. For the gradient angle, I set to 90 degrees following with 3 different gradient color. Moving on to background size, set the x-axis just 50% and y-axis to 100%. In the text section, set the text align to center and to the padding to 25% so it will position right exactly in the middle of the page. Also don't forget to add the font styling as well. So, for the font color I just choose white color for it. Now, moving on to the keyframe part. This part will do the animation to the gradient. Let me just put 0% keyframes and 100% keyframes. Put background position in each of keyframe. Each background position contains X and Y axis. I put 100% in the x-axis of the background position in 100% keyframe. Let's go back to the background container section. Here, I will call the animation keyframe that we've just created and set the animation time to 2 seconds. As we can see in the right preview section, the background is moving from the left to right. But however, this is still far from our expectation. Because the animation movement is like repeating itself in the background. So, I am gonna make a little bit changes in some part of our CSS file. Now, pay attention very carefully to this. Because you will see the differences as I'm making changes. 
I'm gonna stop the animation by disabling the keyframe part. Go back to the background container section. I will change the gradient angle, let's say 60 degrees. Now pay attention carefully to the gradient color. As you can see, now the gradient angle has been tilted to 60 degrees. Next thing to do, I'm going to remove this vertical line in between two background gradient. Let's back to the CSS file. Increase the background size to 600% and 600%. As you can see in the preview side, now the background size has increased and giving a very cool static gradient background. Now moving on to keyframe section. I'm gonna uncomment the keyframe and we can see the animation is moving back again. Add 50% keyframe in between the existing keyframe in order to make the transition more smooth. Then, I set the Y axis to 85% in the background position of the 0% keyframe. And next, I set the X axis to 100% and Y axis to 20% in the background position of 50% keyframe. The last one in the 100% keyframe. Set the Y axis to 85%. As we can see in the preview section, the gradient animation is still moving way too fast. As the solution, I'm gonna make a little bit changes in the animation time. Go back to the background container. I'm gonna set the animation time from 2 seconds to 15 seconds. Now save the project. Let's take a look on the final result. Here, we can see that gradient color is shifting slowly and smoothly from one to another color. Giving such a cool relaxation effects to your website. The gradient animation itself took 15 seconds from start to the end. Which is ideal, not too fast and not too slow. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe and click on the notification to get our latest videos update. See you in the next tutorials.